Today we are going to talk about ischemic heart disease. In our chapter about muscle blood flow, cardiac output during exercise, coronary circulation and ischemic heart disease, we have reached our final topic. Now ischemic heart disease, what is ischemic heart disease? Ischemic heart disease is basically any condition, any condition which leads to decreased blood flow to the heart muscles. This is the heart. This is the heart. And it is being sub it uh, the muscles of the heart are being supplied or blood is being supplied with the help of two main arteries which we have discussed the RCA the right coronary artery and the LCA the left coronary artery R RCA and LCA right coronary artery and left coronary artery right coronary artery basically supplies most of the right side of the heart left coronary artery mostly supply the left side of the heart. Now any condition, any condition which decreases, which decreases the blood flow or the blood supply to the heart muscles. The, the heart muscles are alive, they are pumping and they are not only alive, they are also uh, keeping the other tissues of the human body alive. So they need proper blood flow and the blood is being supplied with the help of coronary arteries. Now any condition which will decrease, which will decrease the blood flow to these muscles will lead to ischemia and it will cause ischemic heart disease. Now ischemic heart disease could be acute, it could be acute or it can be chronic. Acute, acute ischemic heart disease or it is basically sudden in onset. It is sudden in onset. And chronic is basically slow process. It can occur in weeks, months or years. Now, the most common cause of ischemic heart disease is basically atherosclerosis. Ischemic heart disease is important because it is one of the most common cause most common cause of death. It is one of the most common cause of death in the world and the most common cause of ischemic heart disease is atherosclerosis. Now what is atherosclerosis? Because to understand the ischemic heart disease we must understand the atherosclerosis process. Now to understand the ischemic the atherosclerosis process we will take a small portion of the coronary artery and we will enlarge it over here. Now ischemic heart disease is due to any reason, due to any reason which decreases the blood flow to the heart muscles and atherosclerosis is the most common cause of ischemic heart disease. So the atherosclerosis process is basically, it is basically the deposition of lipids, it is basically the deposition of lipids in the blood vessels. Lipids or simply known as fats or we, you can call it a cholesterol as well. Now they get deposited in the coronary vessels. These lipids it can uh, get deposited in any blood vessels. It can get deposited in any blood vessel in the human body. But as we are discuss, discussing ischemic heart disease, so we are discussing atherosclerosis specifically in the coronary artery. So. The atherosclerosis process involves the deposition of the lipids. It involves the deposition of lipids in the blood vessels. Now these depositions of blood vessels, it occurs below the endothelium. There is a lining in any blood vessel This lining is basically in touch with the blood. This is the outer portion. This is the outer portion of the blood vessel. And the basically the red color is in touch with the blood. Blood is flowing in the uh, this blood vessel. And this blood uh, vessel is uh, surrounded internally by this endothelium. And in atherosclerosis process, lipids get deposited below the endothelium of the 
blood vessels but here we uh, are discussing coronary blood vessel so here the lipids are being deposited below the endothelium of the coronary blood vessel now why the lipids get deposited here why the lipids get deposited in the uh, blood vessels it could be due to a lot of reason but most commonly it it is due to increased intake of cholesterol increase intake of cholesterol in the diet or it can be due to sedentary life or it can be due to no exercise which is also basically in sedentary life no exercise we are consuming more calories and we are not exercising or life is not active so it uh, it leads to a sedentary lifestyle and uh, it ultimately lead to increased lipids in the body and increased cholesterol in the body and which leads to ultimately leads to the deposition of those extra lipids in the blood vessels they can be deposited in uh, other tissues as well like liver for example but as we are discussing the atherosclerosis process so it is important here to discuss only blood vessels now finally this deposition of lipids could be due to abnormal metabolism it could be due to abnormal metabolism of the lipids as well now once the lipids get deposited in the blood vessels below the endothelium then there is deposition of fibrous tissue there is deposition of fibrous tissue fibers get deposited in the lipids and finally finally there is deposition of calcium now initially there is deposition of lipids below the endothelium then there is deposition of fibers fibers or fibrous tissue in the lipids and finally uh, it uh, get calcified with the uh, calcium so the final the final product or the end product is basically an atherosclerotic plaque plaque or plaque whatever now this atherosclerotic plaque or plaque it basically protrudes it is protruding inside the blood vessel and it basically decreases the caliber of the blood vessel now you see if blood starts moving here you can clearly see that the blood is it is very difficult for the blood to move through this area where the atherosclerosis has occurred or where the uh, plaque atherosclerotic plaque has formed because this plaque is protruding in the blood vessel and it is basically decreasing it is basically decreasing the width or the caliber or the size of the blood vessel has been reduced so blood cannot pass so when this process has occurred here in the coronary vessel it ultimately leads to decrease in the blood flow to the cardiac muscles it ultimately leads to the uh, decrease blood flow to the cardiac muscle now this atherosclerosis process is not a sudden process it takes a uh, like weeks months and years it is a slow process and this uh, atherosclerotic plaque uh, develops over a long period of time but what happens that sometimes there is a break there is a break or there is rupture of the endothelium there is break of this endothelium because this plaque is growing inside this plaque is growing and protruding into the blood vessel so it can rupture or destroy the endothelial lining which will lead to the exposure which will lead to the exposure of this atherosclerotic layer to the blood and blood will start clotting here because whenever the blood encounters any rough surface the blood starts clotting so a clot can form here a clot will form here 
and once a clot has formed now the blood to the the blood to the uh, area which is being uh, supplied by that specific blood vessel is stopped now suppose for example if this blood vessel is supplying this specific area if atherosclerotic plaque develops and finally due to the formation of atherosclerotic plaque there is formation of a thrombus thrombus is basically formation of a clot in the blood vessel but that clot remains there it is not moving if it moves to another area then it is embolus so this thrombus is basically stopping the blood it is stopping the blood and due to which the the area to which this blood vessel is supplying the blood is become ischemic it become ischemic or there is decrease in the blood flow to that area and it leads to the ischemic heart disease so this process this process it keeps uh, it uh, takes a lot of time but sometimes it can rupture the endothelium and the ischemic heart disease can develop suddenly or acutely and it leads to the occlusion or uh, occlusion or obstruction of blood to the uh, area which is being supplied by that specific blood vessel so ischemic heart disease it is basically the decrease in blood flow to any uh, area of the heart it is uh, due to any reason ischemia is basically decrease in blood flow it could be due to any reason it can occur suddenly which is acute and it can occur slowly which is basically chronic ischemic heart disease is the most common cause of death worldwide and the most common cause of ischemic heart disease is the atherosclerosis process now what happens in the atherosclerosis is that there is deposition of lipids in the blood vessels below the endothelium then there is deposition of fibrous tissue there is deposition of fibrous tissue and finally it is calcified which leads to the formation of atherosclerotic plaque that atherosclerotic plaque it may rupture or damage the endothelial endothelial layer which will lead to the clotting of blood and formation of thrombus inside the blood vessel and once a thrombus is formed inside the blood vessel it will lead to decrease blood flow or stopping the blood flow to some part of the heart and that part which will uh, which will not be receiving the blood it will become ischemic and we will consider it as ischemic heart disease so the process keeps uh, on going and sometimes it may uh, not lead to the formation of thrombus and it will slowly and gradually occlude the blood vessel in a chronic way but sometimes it ruptures the endothelium and there is sudden formation of a clot and that uh, clot basically is a thrombus in, which is stopping the blood to the uh, following area of the heart so that's all about the ischemic heart disease in our next lecture we will basically focus on the acute coronary events or acute ischemic heart disease thanks a lot for watching the video